Hello everyone, 23rd August 2021. Very important time is common for beekeepers, as in preparing colonies for the winter. How to do it again? Give you some tips in my next video for beginners. This video is going to be for plants. Amazing plants which gives massive amount of nectar. I just want to show you the bees are going mad for that plant. This plant called globe thistle. There's a lot of different thistles in bloom at the minute, but all of them just to just to keep going for the bees. Basically, they're not giving the your much nectar. This plant, as far as I have resource on internet and all, is gives you about ton per hectare of nectar, which is absolutely record in plants which I know. Uh, I plant in all different plants like that's my, one of my favorite plants it's red hot poker torch lily uh, the proper name is Nifofia and I have a lot of them planted they give me a, la a large amount of nectar during the season as well they in second bloom there now some of them but uh, actually this globe thistle is so important because you giving you nectar in August when it's uh, usually bees bees are struggling for nectar so this is really important plant so if there is a good weather uh, any other plants giving you something but this plant can give you nectar even at 12 degrees I seen bees on on the globe thistle at 12 degrees and miserable weather cloudy and pissing rain and they're sitting there and soaking some nectar at 12 degrees so that's uh, advantage of that plant at this time you should be removed you have removed all your uh, your honey supers and start prepare your bees for the winter which you need to stimulate if there's bad weather and no nectar coming in you need to stimulate them by a small portion of syrup but if there's good weather so you don't need to do that Obviously, if you have some plants which gives you some nectar planted around your area where you're keeping your bees. Obviously, simple enough, the seeds from that globe thistle, it looks like that. You can simply plant them in small pots, three or four of them, uh, two, three centimeters deep. And water them properly. So just in about a week and a half time, they they go and pick it up, but you have to uh, you have to make sure you have no weeds around them because those plants were they small they quite weak uh, until they grow up four or five inches they they kind of stronger or if you just sow them uh, on the just normal ground you have to uh, keep the weeds down but they grow uh, fourth year up to meter high. But they're not giving you first year, they're not giving you any, any flowers. They only flower on the second year. But you need to, again, they grow very big. That's about two and a half meters. And they were, there was, it was wind and goose last week and week before. So they, most of them were just lying down. I have to, Tighten with the rope to the fence. It's absolutely, it's in even butterflies there. 
taking some nectar from it. So it's boozing with the bees. There's another butterfly here. It's funny, but I never seen wasps on that plant. For some reason, they probably cannot reach the nectar. But it's absolutely full of bees. So this part I didn't actually tie to the fence, so it's all lying down on the ground because it's so big. And I'm going to harvest a lot of seeds this year because there is a lot of beekeepers asking me for this for to sell the seeds. I already sold some, but this will be big harvest. I especially have planted so uh, globe thistle at my epidea at the mating boxes. <clears throat> so the mating boxes, the bees from mating boxes could get nectar straight away from thistles and go into into the mating boxes straight away so it's no need to fly too far and so it's less less mixing uh, uh, candy and less less hassle so plant that globe thistle and your bees will be happy that's it for now bye